In the next session, Stefan works with a 14-year-old Hanoverian gelding and offers more tips on how to fine-tune the aids with an older horse that has already learned the movements. Our main goal with him, as we did yesterday, that we get him perfectly in front of the leg. And Tammy, I'd love to start with a, um, with a little canter work, bringing him down center line and finding out when we collect him at X, when, before we prepare the halt, is he anticipating? Whenever you're ready, canter. Get a good feeling in walk. Yes, exactly. Testing a moment the sensitivity. Good. I would say, let's do it again. Even there, we could ask him to jump a little bit more from behind forward. But let's try it from there. Forward, Tammy. And again, push him forward. Yeah? We're not just going to say, you know, that it was, that it was good enough because we're in a clinic situation. Yeah? Let's make it perfect where we can really get a high mark for this transition. Yeah? If our horse is ever so slightly behind the leg for the walk-canter transition, I will guarantee a little mistake in the flying changes. If he makes the mistake of anticipating, make your point, send him forward. Yeah? Come again. Come again. You could tell. Yeah? Turn right. Turn right. Turn right. You could tell you came down center line and his haunches came in. Yeah? At any time when he makes a little mistake, take care of this. Yeah? Neck a little straighter. That's it. Now, neck straighter, Tammy. Straighter the neck. Collect him. Collect him. Straighter. Haunches came slightly in. So down center line and collect, uh, collect him at X. Testing. Preparing for the show arena. At X, Tammy. At X. Exactly at the spot where you would do the halt. Push him. Push him. Forward. 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 Much sooner. Much sooner. You could tell. Within the collection, we want impulsion. We really want to show the judges, no matter how much we shorten the stride or we collect our horse, we still see a very clear desire for the horse to move forward. Yeah? So once again, at X, simply testing the collection. Heels down. So if he makes a mistake, that was better. Now that this is established, yeah, let's see if we can test his sensitivity in a schooling parrot down here, Tammy. And starting the schooling parrot, Tammy, between both quarter lines. Yeah? So we write a 10 meter circle between both quarter lines. Yeah? And we write a schooling parrot. And activity, activity, get him a little bit quicker. That's it. Making your point, that was good. Now find out, can I leave him alone? Is he maintaining the energy? And forward again, within the 10 meter circle. More, look for a little bit more reaction, Tammy. Yeah? Good, perfect, and again. That's it. And now again, trying a moment a little passively, bringing the haunches in. Forward, not smaller. So good, and again. Keep the same size. Yeah? Haunches in, but not smaller. Haunches in, but not smaller. Forward, forward. We really want to show the difference and test the difference, that our horse clearly understands the difference between making the pirouette smaller and bringing the haunches more in. Let's show once more the clear difference on the circle between increasing the travers movement, bringing the haunches more in, and making it smaller. Yeah? Never compromise on the forward energy. And now let's increase the travers movement without making the pirouette smaller. Yeah? Let's gain control. Good. Keep this canter. Compromise a little bit on the collection. Much better. Much better. Good. Perfect. Good. Good. More travers. More travers. Not smaller. Better. Better. Quick. Quick. Good job. So that's what he needs to learn. Yeah? Good job, Timmy. Suppleness to the inside. Our horse stays positioned to the inside. Good. There were a couple really good strides. And out of it, we see a nice soft contact. The horse is accepting the bit. Yeah? This is what we're looking for. We simply start once with the three tempis. Yeah? We make him wait on the diagonal. Yeah? Good. Light aids. Keep your seat centered. 
get him used to your aids. Yeah, that's it. And late behind. Yeah, so a little bit short, a little bit lazy with his right hind. I mean, we saw this a little bit in the pirouette over here that he was starting to stiffen a little bit through the right side. And now your flying changes every second stride. Yeah? Good. Light aids. Good. Good. Yes. Good. One more. Very good, Tammy. You know, when we talk about engagement, we're, th we're thinking about three joints, yeah? The hip, stifle, and the hawk joint, yeah? So many times we just focus on the hawk, but the hip and the stifle needs to be exercised just as much, yeah? Get them a little bit sensitive. That's it. And a couple steps, uh, PF, when you're ready. There's forward energy. Now bring him back. Half steps, not passage. Half steps forward. S don't help him so much, Tammy. You're riding... The PF as if you're in the test. Ride it as if you're in the training. Test him, yeah? Test him with the heels down. Increase the pressure. He knows what he's doing. He, d he does it perfect. Pet him, pet him. You, you don't need to teach him how to do a PF. You need to teach him to do a PF more reliably. That's it. Sit very quiet. I like this much better. So, and now when you decide there's less energy, you go forward again. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. Looking for suppleness, and now you bring him back with very passive aids. Yeah? Bring him back again. Legs stay quiet. Good. Wake him up once. Perfect. Good timing. But I like, Christoph, that he really does that way beautiful transitions. He really stays in a good rhythm. Yeah? So I think that's one really, really strong part of him. You know, maybe it's not the most classical PF, but we really keep a correct rhythm. Yeah? There was already a very good response. With the light aid, he went right away forward into the passage. Yeah? Now to the PF, light aids. Don't use the spur. Don't use the spur. Wake him up. Perfect. Absolutely. Testing. We're testing before we do in the arena the show movements. Yeah? We're testing the responsibility. We're, we're testing the sensitivity, the responsiveness. Good. That's it. Yeah? Again, we don't have to teach him to do a better PF. We need to teach him to do it every single time the way he's doing it right now. Yeah, perfect, Tammy. On the long side, medium trot. Transition to the passage on the short side. Good. A little bit more. Good. And now with the heels down, yeah, into the passage, testing him. Yeah, sit deep. Bring him back. That's it. Oh, good. And now a quick reminding aid for the passage. Perfect. Now back to the passage. And now keep him in the passage itself when you remind him. Good. In the passage. Don't let him go back to the collected trot. Circle. 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 Good. Passage again. And keep him in the passage when you wake him up. Okay? There we are. This is good. Let him do it. Exactly. Remind him, but allow him to do it, Tammy. This is good. And now collect the passage a little bit more. Yeah? Very good. Very good. That's it. Walk and praise him. Good job, Timmy. Just like that. <laughs>